Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It is already around 11 o'clock and um, Steve and I have been actually up really early. Um, we were running really low on cleaning supplies so Steven ran out and bought cleaning supplies and I started like going through the pantry just organizing it cleaning it up I'm gonna give you a pantry tour today about how I set up our pantry super excited to share that with you and I am off work this week so I always was scheduled to be on vacation this week and we just kept it so I'm on vacation. Uh, Steven and I were going to be in Arizona this week. Clearly we're not. Steven is working, so he's in his office with Bubba's. But let's go ahead and check out the pantry. So this is our pantry. The wallpaper you see on the back is actually wrapping paper from Home Goods, and I love llamas. And I just put it up with double-sided tape, and it has been up there for probably two years, going on two years. I just love like the pop of color, the pop of cork. So. Yeah, that's a hack from me to you. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump in. As you will see, I don't keep things in their original containers. I like to get that in the recycling bin right away and be able to see my food so I know that I'm using it before it goes bad. I do believe that every container is from Target. So... Let's start at the top and work our way down this side and then we'll go on the other side. Up here I have canisters of just like some baking things. So I have whole wheat flour, uh, regular sugar, flour, powdered sugar, brown sugar, and raw sugar in just glass canisters. Then I have like all my pastas and grains in one section. So I have noodles and pastas, um, spaghetti containers, quinoa. These are panko breadcrumbs, so my breadcrumbs are at the end. I also keep, we'll come back then. I also keep some grains here that I reach for just quite frequently. So these are instant oats, still cut oats, and then um, some quinoa here as well. I love those canisters. I cannot find them anywhere though anymore. They're not really that large, but for those grains, they work really well and they're really nice to pour out of. All right, back to the pantry. So then I have these risers so that you can see everything. I had no idea. We have a lot of curries. <laughs> I usually make my own, so I think I always end up with so much extra curry, but it's literally one of our favorite foods. And then some pasta sauces, some tomato sauces, some diced tomatoes, some crushed tomatoes, because I'm constantly making my own sauce. And then I have some garbanzo beans, <laughs> like eight cans, because that's like my go-to. And then just some other canned goods, but I like them all elevated so you can see them. Then down on this riser, I just have soups and my stocks. And then in here are any like pasta meals, like mac and cheese any of our rices that we use and uh just some like brown rice noodles steven has a bowl there that he likes then on the bottom is just a wooden bowl for um avocado shallots and my garlic then my boost block and then on the floor here i have a really large basket and I keep all of our tortilla chips in there. Then I have a basket for bread and then a basket for crackers. This is my baking basket. It has like waffle mix and just any mixes I need on hand. This is my cereal, granola, some bran flakes. Steven's one sad bagel. He had a bunch of them, but now he's down to one. And then this whole side is kind of like our go grab snack section so pretzel rods and pretzels and like the oxo containers i love them then i made some cookies over the weekend so they're in that cookie jar baskets for snacks i like to just be able to see what i'm grabbing and i try to always buy things that are individually wrapped it just makes it easier and neater and then some sweet treats here then some peanut butter filled pretzels and brownie filled pretzels those are steven's favorites and then Steven is a trail mix person. And then we have unsalted nuts and salted. And then down here is all of our popcorn flavorings, our popcorn kernels, and then just a microwavable popcorn. 
But that is how I keep my pantry organized. I love it. I love walking into it, feeling that you have so much space. So if you ever have to like stock up on more things, like I have this whole shelf open, all that space, all this corner space, all this up here, it's just nice to get all the packaging out and to be able to see what you actually have. And then you don't waste things or you don't buy things over and over again that you already have. Quick update, it is 3.30 and I slept on the couch all afternoon because I was up at 2 a.m. and I've been up since and I just crashed. I only had slept about two, three hours last night, so Steven just let me sleep through on the couch. But I'm prepping dinner right now, and we're having stuffed shells, so let me show you what I have going on right now. I'm browning some beef. I make my stuffed shells like little mini lasagnas. So this is just ground beef, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. And then I have my water boiling for my jumbo shells. Then over here I have ricotta, and I have minced garlic, salt, pepper, a little bit of crushed red pepper, and then some finely minced basil in there. And I'm just gonna let that sit so all the flavors infuse. I'm gonna add a little bit of sauce to the ground beef. And then what I'm going to do is I will put in a little bit of the ground beef and sauce, then a scoop of ricotta, and then I'll top with sauce and mozzarella. So I forgot to film stuffing them, but basically I stuffed it with the meat and then with the ricotta, and then I baked it at 350 for about 30 minutes and then put the broiler on for a couple minutes just to get the top toasted. But look how beautiful they look. What you thinking, Lincoln? Oh no, you missed the UPS, man. Let's go check on Daddy, see if he's ready for dinner. So I am off this week, but Steven is still working. I am working, I'm actually working right now. And it's after five, so. Oh. The UPS man just drove by and he did not throw a fit. That's the second, there were two trucks, because one just went that way. Or wait, no, the reflection went that way. So. Dinner's ready. Oh good, okay, hold on one second. All right. Also, while we're doing dinner, um, I thought I'd show you some updates because Target released their Studio McGee line, uh, which I love Studio McGee. I love their original website, but I did get a couple pieces and I thought I'd show you what I picked up. So this is a fake plant from Studio McGee. It looks so good. So that's from Studio McGee, the beads and this little pot. Um, that tray that's there is one from Pottery Barn I've had for a long time. The little gold thing on top of the record player is from Studio McGee. Pardon me, I have pantry boxes there in the corner that need broken down. And then over here, this new piece of art, that's from Studio McGee. This little box, it's like a little wooden trinket box. That's from Studio McGee. Our wreath on our front door is Studio McGee. It's really cute. Hey, get in here. Hey, get in here. Bubba's in here now. Come on, inside. 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 Oh, you're gonna be the death of me. Uh, what else? These beads are from Studio McGee. The lamp is from Studio McGee. Um. anything in here is from there. Where's the other remote? Under the Diptyque candle stand. Um, this little wooden vase is from the collection. I think that, oh, and then this really cute candle. I love that it's so low profile. Um, that was also from there. Oh, and the basket. I replaced the basket that used to hold our blankets. And this one right here is from the Studio McGee collection. So those are some of the things that I had picked up on their launch day and uh, really happy with them. We're listening to Mandy Moore. We're gonna have some stuffed shells, have a little wine, and then maybe we'll catch up. It's like 8.30. We slept in a little bit today. Bubby just came in from outside. Steven is making his usual breakfast of bagel and coffee. 
Um, and I'm going to have some toast and some coffee as well. But I have actually been drinking instant coffee, which sounds crazy, but I have to recommend the um, Mount Hagen Organic Fair Trade Coffee is so good. It's so good. So I'm gonna make some avocado toast and have some coffee. All right, my friends. So as you know, I didn't finish the vlog yesterday, so I'm making it a two-dayer because I fell asleep and it was just like a waste of a day. Um, yeah, it was just like a very low-key Monday. But it's now Tuesday and we are just doing the things. Steven is working, I'm off, and I'm just cleaning. God bless all of you who have larger families than two because just us being home every day is creating so much more dirt and dust in the house. I don't know what it is, but it's true. All of you ask about like cleaning schedules and cleaning routines and cleaning people. We don't have cleaning people. We do all the cleaning ourselves. We had one really bad experience with a cleaning lady. How many years ago was that? I want to put it out of my mind. Six years? Probably like six years ago. No, it was been like eight. Maybe eight years ago. I um, had a really bad experience and we've just never gone back to it. Um, just because it makes us very nervous. <laughs> but we do all the cleaning ourselves and it, we're a small family, but just being home is creating so much dirt. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite cleaning stuff, things that I really love, things that I really have used for years now. Um, so one of my favorite brands, and I actually have to place another order today, is Better Life. They're all natural cleaners. The Okie Doki is one of my favorite. It makes like any wood finish, like gives it like a really nice sheen. So I just finished the coffee table. And if we catch the light, you can see that it has like such a nice glow to it. It cleans so well. I absolutely love it. Did some restyling of this. Took the eucalyptus off the mantle because it was feeling a little too cluttered. I'm listening to an audiobook. I'm gonna keep cleaning and share little things as we go. As you can see this morning, Bubba's is very diligent in reviewing all of these files. How are they looking? Not good. Whoever's responsible for these files is a disaster. Oh no. All right, friends, so I'm going to do a little DIY. I don't know about you all, but I have a bunch of candles and I'm really trying to use everything I have uh, that say things like pumpkin or Christmas time. And I'm not really particular about like fragrances at certain times of the year. Like I love a Fraser fir candle all year round. And what I wanna do is try to make these less like, I don't want the word pumpkin around the house. So I'm gonna use some old craft paper. So what I'm going to attempt to do is Mod Podge using torn craft paper around this one. This is gonna be like my sample one and then I have a ton of other ones I can use. I'm gonna only tear the paper around the edges and we're just gonna see what happens. All right, so this one is done. We're going to see how it turns out. What I love about this paper is it's dual-sided, so there's a light side and dark side. So I kind of mix them up, and I'm hoping for just like a really neutral-looking candle, and you can no longer see the word pumpkin on it. This is done. I wish my, um, I, I lit it just to see what it looked like. I wish my Mod Podge was matte. I think if it was, I'd be even happier with it. I think I wish my Mod Podge was matte and then I'd be even happier with it, but I do love like how this turned out. There's the candle and I'm actually really happy with it. It definitely goes so much better and I like that you don't see the word pumpkin. I wish my Mod Podge would have been matte finished. I think I'd really like it in the matte, but I'm not mad at it at all. Yeah, it looks really good up there. It is around 3.30 and I just finished a workout. Um, I did Mad Fit and the Fitness Marshall. I'll leave both of their channels linked down below. I'm sure many of you have heard about them. So I did um, the Fitness Marshall for some like dancing cardio and then Mad Fit for arm, biceps, triceps, and back today. So it's a great workout. I feel really good. Steven is upstairs still doing some work and 
just reading over some things. So I'm just gonna like lay low key and maybe read and get cleaned up. All right, my friends, it is seven o'clock and Steven and I ate dinner. We each had a glass of wine. We just had leftover stuffed shells for dinner and it's starting to rain and it's really overcast and rainy and it's supposed to rain the rest of the night. So I was literally talking to Steven. I was like, we should go read and then watch TV in bed and just go to sleep. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I told Steven, I was like, we're such losers going to bed. And what was your response? The response was, we're in the middle of a lockdown and a epidemic. What do you want to do? Like go out and hit the town. <laughs> Everyone's inside. Do what you want. You can sleep until noon and then like wake up and work at midnight. So so we're okay. gonna go up to bed, aren't we? We're gonna get some CPs and we'll wait. we'll start this all over in the morning. So how about you do the closing today? Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.